What if I told you all of these people are running to get their hands on the $20 Dyson Airwrap and the $20 PlayStation VR 2 and all of these expensive items that only cost $20? So what is this store? Why does everything cost $20? Why should I not tell anyone about the store? And will Chipotle ever go back to being affordable again? Well, lucky for you, because in this video, I'm going to answer all of these questions. Okay, maybe not that last question about Chipotle. <laughs> but at least you'll know how to get that $20 Dyson. All right, let me take this ridiculous stuff off. Let's get started. Welcome to Crazy Hot Buys. This isn't a regular store where you just walk in and find the same items every day available to purchase. In fact, it's the complete opposite. This store is very different. The way it works is that it buys return items from big box stores like Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and then it resells them back to the public at a massive discounted price. You can find all types of items here like an HP laptop, shoe slot organizer, Dyson Airwrap, and coffee mugs just like this one. Actually, I gave this mug to my mom when I surprised her for her birthday while she was traveling. I'll link that video at the end. Okay, so then how do the prices work? And this is actually where it gets a little interesting. Every Friday when they get their new inventory and restock the store, each individual item costs only $20. And get this, that's actually the most expensive price throughout the whole week. Because as the week goes by and people are shopping and the inventory drops, so does the price. It actually goes all the way down to just $3 per item on Thursday. Which is actually pretty crazy because when I came to this exact same store back in July, Friday's price used to be $10 and Thursday's price used to be $1. Anyways, shopping at the store during the week is actually very chill and you can find a lot of things very cheap. But if you want the most expensive and best items like the Dyson or laptops or be headphones, then you have to come on Friday morning when they open. But now to answer the biggest question, is it worth it? And to answer that question, I'm gonna show you my first experience showing up on a Friday morning at 8 a.m. right when they open. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes so that you can guarantee getting one of these Dyson air wraps or other expensive items there. Okay, so we arrived at 7.30 in the morning, meaning 30 minutes before it opened. And this was the massive line that was there when I arrived. Honestly, when I saw this, I just wanted to go home, but because I love my subscribers, please subscribe. I stayed because I wanted to make this video for you guys. So the people in the front said they've been waiting here since Wednesday. Honestly, I doubt it, but if they have been, geez. And here we have the employees getting the store ready, but as soon as it turned 8 a.m., these people started rushing in. Dale, dale. I mean, I guess if you don't want to wait the entire line, you can just be like this mom and her kid who just casually walk into the line. Also, this bald guy who walks into the line without getting noticed. Okay, what you don't want to do is be this absolute noob who gets caught trying to cut in line. Surprisingly though, this line actually moved pretty fast. My friends and my girlfriend and I, we were in the middle of the line and it only took about two minutes to enter. It is absolutely hectic out here. All right, so I think we figured out the game plan. I'm basically the mule who carries everything and my girlfriend's the one out searching for it. So she's like the vulture. I'm more of like the hang back and just push this cart around until she finds something. So honestly, it's borderline hostile. People are pushing and shoving. Honestly, sometimes you start feeling a little jealous because you start seeing what people are finding. <laughs> See, the crazy thing is I actually do need this for a mount for a table that holds two monitors but see I'm in Florida right now and I don't live in Florida and I can't take that with me on an airplane so I'm gonna have to stay here. So the thing is, even if you aren't able to get your hands on those expensive tech items, there's still a lot of things that you can still get for a really good deal. The only thing is you have to take a look and compare prices to see if it's actually worth paying $20 for that item. For example, Mr. Coffee Mini Brew, online it's for $22, bad deal. Next, large heating pad, online it's $23, also bad deal. Garage video keypad, online $100, okay deal. Ecobee Smart Thermometer, online $237, great deal. All right, so this is what we bought. We bought three items, okay? So we got a dining set, we got a kid's barbecue, and then we got a Ecobee thermostat. It's 10.30, we've been here since eight. We've been here for two hours and a half. Was it worth it? 
Absolutely not, because none of this stuff is not even for us. It's going to be presents. <laughs> At the bare minimum, my godson liked his present. This is how my beautiful girlfriend looks after two hours and a half of shopping. <laughs> Baby! Quiero comida, I love you.